Hello, 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 and welcome to another College Football 25 video here on the channel. My name is Alfred Avenue. I'm here to share some news with you guys about the game. This week, they did uh, release four different things that they're going to be going over this week in regards to sights and sounds, the toughest places to play, highest ranked offenses and defense, and then just the overall power rankings. Uh, you can see that here. But this video is one that's going over the toughest places to play, um, starting out the top 25 teams. They released a post on Instagram um, that, in my opinion, is a little bit controversial, but I will kind of walk through the posts that they had on the website here today, and I'm just excited to hear your guys' opinion and feedback on this. Okay, so... Taking a look at this list, the fact that they have uh, Texas A&M <laughs> at the top of the list is kind of crazy. So we, we can go through here. Um, this week, apparently, is College Football 25 Rankings Week Showcase. Um, like, who are the best teams in college football, which is pretty exciting, kind of figuring out who uh, the best teams are going to be. Um, and they released a... a I guess a post on Instagram and on Twitter and everywhere kind of displaying the top 10 top uh, toughest places to play and then have this list on the website of like top 25 toughest places to play um, but in here you know you can see they say call it, hey college football fans welcome back to the huddle uh, this week we have a special living edition of the campus huddle centered around rankings week what is rankings week they ask the time to celebrate various EA Sports College Football 25 rankings from the toughest places to play to the top offenses and defenses for final team power rankings before the worldwide launch on July 19th. Plus, we'll have our Sights and Sounds deep dive coming Wednesday, showcasing the incredible and unique presentation features coming to EA Sports College Football 25. The full rankings week schedule can be seen here. We all can see tomorrow they're having the, uh, the deep dive. Honestly, I think pretty much everyone is just waiting for the Dynasty uh, deep dive. Um, so all of this is kind of just making everybody anxious that they're just kind of giving us the filler stuff but all that being said um, they have a deep dive today on uh, the toughest places to play uh, we laid out the significant impact that home field advantage can have on the outcome of the games in EA Sports College Football 25 during our gameplay deep dive campus huddle audio and in-game in -game modifiers such as blurred routes incorrect play art confidence and composure effects uh, and they, that should be effects, not apex. Apex are actions that cause effects. Effects are the resulting um, thing from something that affected it to take place. And screen shaking that are some of the immersive impacts uh, way, away teams and players will be forced to contend with. But not all home field advantages are created equal. The development team worked to compile a list of the top 25 toughest places to play, factoring in historical stats such as home winning percentage, home game attendance, active home winning streaks, team prestige, and more. Uh, rankings are subject to change in future updates. Now, the top 10, I agree with a lot of these, but to put Kyle Field over anyone is a little bit crazy. I'll go ahead and read through the top 10 um, and we can uh, visit this together and be in awe. Let's see here. So with the top 10 places to play, we'll we'll read through this. We got Kyle Field with Texas A&M. I'm so curious to see like the reasoning behind these. Number two, Bryant-Denny Stadium uh, for Alabama. Obviously as an Auburn fan, that breaks my heart, but I have to agree with it because they are, you know, the winningest program in the last 20 years and the, the most national championships out of all active college football teams. If you don't know this, Yale has more national championships than Alabama does. Now they were all, you know, back in the early 1900s and 1800s, but they're still ahead. Um, LSU Tiger Stadium, uh, Death Valley is a is a is a tough place to go. Uh, no one wants to go in there and, and try and play LSU, especially a night game on Saturday. Um, number four, Ohio State in Ohio Stadium, which everyone lovingly calls the Horseshoe. Sanford Stadium there in Athens, Georgia, um, with the Dogs. Uh, you know they're they're up and coming. Got left out of the the BC or sorry, got left out of the college football playoff. And uh, their home field advantage is a tough one. Their fans are not the nicest fans in the world, um, but they are some of the most uh, some of the most rabid and love their team. Uh, Beaver Stadium there for Penn State. The whiteouts uh, from Penn State is definitely um, a tough place to go into. Now the SEC, other than Auburn, has not had uh, a tough time going in there. Ole Miss beat them, I think, by 21 points 
Um, Alabama's beat Penn State, beat the dog off them. But it is a tough stadium to go into. Um, trying to stir up a little controversy here. Um, Camp Randall Stadium with Wisconsin. Honestly, like, when I think toughest places to play, I don't look at uh, Wisconsin. You know, I would think Florida would be higher than that. I would think Jordan Hare would be higher than that with Auburn. I would think uh, whatever Texas's stadium would be would be higher than that. I would think um, what's the Oregon stadium um, in Eugene? Can't remember the name. But anyways, we'll get into that later. Uh, number eight, the Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. Oklahoma has been a tough team uh, in recent years. Um, coming into the SEC is just going to make that even more um, more aggressive. You know, tough teams playing each other. Um, SEC has in hit in the recent history been the toughest conference obviously Big Ten is doing a little bit better and the Pac-12 just doesn't really exist anymore so um, it's going to be an interesting season uh, Doak, uh, Doak S. Campbell Stadium there for uh, Florida State is uh, number nine and then Ben Hill Griffin Stadium the Swamp in Florida um, now outside the top 11 we've got Alton Stadium with Oregon which I guess they just missed out on the top 10 Memorial Stadium in Clemson, Neyland Stadium. Yeah, not having Tennessee up there is kind of crazy. Obviously, they haven't been as good recently, but it's still a crazy stadium to go into. Um, Jordan Hare uh, with Auburn uh, is, I think, one of the best places to be. Obviously, I am biased. I am an Auburn fan. Um, but that stadium um, in, in big games is, is a stadium you don't want to go into. Unfortunately, Auburn has not been as good recently. And so the fact that we're even top 14, I think, is a call to tradition a little bit, which I appreciate. And thank you for EA. And, and we'll be looking to take them into a, a longer uh, streak and get to be the toughest place to play. Uh, Williams Bryce Stadium with South Carolina. Um, I can't really think of it being a fearful place to go into South Carolina, but what do you know? Um, Michigan Stadium, uh, the big house there in Michigan. Um, it's weird that they're not using the like the nicknames for all these stadiums. Whatever. Uh, Lane Stadium with Virginia Tech. Rice Eccles Stadium for Utah. Daryl K. Royal. So they in Texas Memorial Stadium. They for Texas. They made it into the top twenty-five. That's good. Uh, Kinnick Stadium in Ohio. Notre Dame Stadium for Notre Dame. Uh, Spartacus Stadium with Michigan State. Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium with Arkansas. Um, Albertsons Stadium. The blue, the blue turf man with Boise State is definitely a tough place to go. It's, it's disorienting. It's a big time uh, just kind of mind meld there when you go there. Um, and then Davis Wade Stadium for Mississippi State. So that was definitely uh, a controversial list in my opinion. I do think it's pretty like well encompassing of who are the top 25 toughest places to play in college football right now um, and it's cool to see that they've created a pretty good list for um, college football 25 at least starting out and obviously it does shift as you know you have your team go on a win streak or you end up having just like national championship you just become a powerhouse things like that obviously come into effect um I don't necessarily agree with Kyle Field as number one, um, but overall, I think EA did get it right in regards to like the top 25 places in college that are the most like iconic um, and the toughest places to try and come into and play as an away team. Um, so in that instance, I do think they got it right. The order of the top 10, I don't necessarily agree with. But all that being said, um, I do think it was a good list. Uh, I just don't think the top 10 was correct. Thank y'all so much for checking out the video. I appreciate it so much for you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe to the channel. I'm Alfred Avenue, and I appreciate y'all being here. See ya! Thank you.